Next, we're going to take a look at WooCommerce shortcodes. Shortcodes give us the ability to add special content almost anywhere on our website, and unlike widgets, we're not limited to the sidebar or pre-assigned widget areas. Shortcodes are special text codes that are added to WordPress by either a plugin or a theme. You'll know a shortcode when you see one because it's surrounded by square brackets, just like the headline on this slide. You enter a shortcode on a post or a page, and WordPress expands that shortcode into something much more complex. WooCommerce uses shortcodes to generate all of the special pages, the shop page, the shopping cart page, the checkout page, etc. Almost everything we put into WooCommerce is accessible using a shortcode, which means we can position things like product information and category listings on almost any page of our website. Now I'm just going to show you a few shortcodes in this lesson, and you can find a full list of shortcodes in the official WooCommerce documentation. There are many, many, many shortcodes. And you'll find the link to this documentation page below this lesson. Now just to give you an idea of how powerful shortcodes can be, I'm here on my website. I'm in the shopping cart. You can see I've got an item in my shopping cart. And this shopping cart page is generated by WooCommerce. Let me go and click the edit button at the top of the page, and I will go edit the shopping cart page. Let's see what it looks like. So when the shopping cart page opens up in my WordPress editor, all of that code, the shopping cart code, which is actually a program that's running in the background, that's generated by this WooCommerce underscore cart shortcode. That is a shortcode. And adding that shortcode to any page automatically turns that page into the WooCommerce shopping cart. So that's an idea of how much you can do with just one shortcode. So with that in mind, we're going to start with probably the simplest WooCommerce shortcode. That's the product shortcode. And the product shortcode will display product information on any poster page. Now, how does WordPress know which product to display? This is where shortcode arguments come in. In practice, the shortcode will have some additional information included. In this case, the argument is ID. And so in addition to the product shortcode, in between product and the closing square bracket, we place ID equals, and then in quotation marks, we put a number. And that number is the number of the product that we want to display. And to find the number for any product, go to your product list under products and hover over any product. And you'll see when you hover over a product, the ID number magically appears right underneath the name of the product. So with that in mind, I'm going to create a new blog post that's announcing a brand new product. And instead of just linking to the product page at the bottom of the blog post, I'm actually going to embed the product on the page. So I've got the blog post and the item from my store so the customer can actually add it to their cart from the blog post. And so here's my blog post announcing our newest aroma. And I've entered the uh, product short code and I've set the ID to 102 because that's the ID number of the product. Let me post this. Now let's take a look at this blog post. And there's the blog post with the product actually embedded into the blog post. The nice thing about doing it this way is if the price changes, the price will actually change automatically in the blog post. You won't have to go in and do anything. Now, if I click on the image, that'll take me to the product page. Or if I click on add to cart, I'm notified that the item has been added to my cart and I get an additional link where I can actually go look at the item in my cart. So that's a great way to easily add product information to any poster page on your website. Now I'm still not sure about this top part of my home page, and I'm thinking I might want to try a short code up here in place of this image. And one I have in mind is called recent products. And it looks like this recent underscore products. And I can add some additional arguments to specify the number I want to show on any given page and also the number of columns it should display those in. So in this case, I'm going to limit four per page and I'm going to display them in four different columns. So now I'm editing the home page and I'm going to remove this image just for now, just to see what this looks like. And I'm going to paste in my short code that I've already prepared. And I'm going to unhide the title. Let's just see what this looks like. So I've got the title of the page. I've restored that so that's not hidden anymore. And I've got the most recent items added to my store. And it's displaying four. I've limited it to four, and it's being displayed in four columns. 
I could have limited it to eight, in which case I'd have two rows of four columns. And then when you scroll down, you get to featured products and then recent products, which are kind of redundant, but I could have hidden these using my homepage control, and then that would have moved my recent products up to the top. So if you're using a theme that does not have a nice homepage layout, you can use the short codes on a standard page that is set to your static homepage, use the short codes to replicate this functionality that we have built into the homepage template as part of the storefront theme. Now there's one other very useful way to use shortcodes that I want to show you, but it's going to require that we install another plugin. We can put these shortcodes into a widget and then add shortcode content to any widget area. Now WordPress by default does not display shortcodes in a text widget area. There is some code that you can add to your theme to make that work, but as I've said, I really don't want you to have to mess around with code. So instead, we're going to install this plugin that will enable short codes. Actually, it will enable a special widget area that you can use to paste your short codes into. It's called Shortcode Widget. You can find it for free in the WordPress plugin directory, and I've already installed this on my website, so let me go show you how this works. Let's head to the theme customizer. I'm going to go down to a page where I've enabled a sidebar. The shop page will work. And under widgets, I'm going to go to sidebar. And when I go to add a widget now, I'll search for short code and there's the short code widget. Let me add that one. It looks very much like a text widget. I can enter a title and some content. So the content is a short code and the short code is the top rated products short code and I set it to display two per page. So in the sidebar, I will have the top two most highly rated products. And let's take a look in the preview here. And there's most popular in the sidebar. And uh, I get a nice image with the price and add to cart. And those are consistently displayed uh, everywhere. And because it's a short code in a widget, I can drag it around if I want this to be at the top of the page. I just drag it in the widget area on the side through the theme customizer, and then it appears uh, near the top of the page. So those are WooCommerce shortcodes. Very, very powerful. Allow you the ability to embed WooCommerce content just about anywhere. Pages, posts, even in your sidebars with a special shortcode widget. So you can use these to enhance the layout on your site. You could use these to create a homepage layout if the theme that you're using doesn't have a nice homepage layout like the storefront theme. Uh, very, very powerful. I encourage you to follow that link to the shortcode documentation and experiment with shortcodes on your website.